Hello friends, in this video I am going to do client only integration in SCA, strong customer authentication. So in the previous video I have done client and server integration uh, and in this video I am going to do client only integration. So please watch the video till the end because uh, I am also going to show you the dashboard of the Stripe as well. So uh, today uh, what I am going to do is I am going to integrate the client only integration. So f here is the documentation that uh, how you can do the uh, things. So the first step is enable checkout in the uh, dashboard and create product and then after generate the checkout button, right? So in that way you could able to do the same thing. So I am also going to do in uh, practical. Firstly, let me show you that I have already implemented all the code so firstly I am going through the uh, flow and then after I will again do the code for you. So here is strong customer authentication, client only integration. So here is the button that has been provided. Uh, so once I will click over it. So I will be redirected to the card. So this is inbuilt, uh, inbuilt uh, structure that has been provided by Stripe itself, right? So here I am going to put card information and then this is all test, right? So now I am going to click on pay. So here is the customer authentication, right? So once I will, if I will uh, click on fail authentication, then definitely error would be shown. Otherwise, If you will click on complete authentication then your payment would be done properly so here we go we done a payment uh, successful uh, right so because we are re uh, redirected to a specific page so if you will see on the dashboard then you can find out here on the payment section so here is the payment that has been done just away just just now right so this is the uh, record that has been added because of our successful payment, right? So now let me show you that how we can do all the stuff. So again, I am going to, uh, actually I have created a, a folder SCA client. So here I have four more files. Uh, here is readme file in which I have put the uh, card in, uh, card number, test card number and here, uh, here are cancel as well as success pages and here is the index.php. So let me completely remove all the stuff which I have added so that you could properly understand that what I did. So actually this is the script that has been added by the uh, Stripe, right? So now if you will see over here, then you will find nothing. So here is no button. Actually the button has been provided by Stripe itself. So from where we will get? So here you will find out somewhere generate in dashboard. So you have to go to the dashboard and then from there you could able to get this specific script. So here is the dashboard. So you have to uh, move to the products part. And here I have added already a few products but you can add a new one as well so here you have to give the product name for example toy and here you can select the specific so here is euro currency right so here you can uh, add your image so here we go So this is optional actually. So I have added that and then click on done. Sorry, I have to add the cost as well. So I am adding here $33. So once I will click the done button, then you will get that. Okay, that the product has been added successfully, right? Because here you can see that, see the product. So what you can do now is use with checkout. So once you will click that button, then you will find all these stuff. So here you can uh, see that once the payment would be successful, then that would be redirected to this specific URL, 
and if that is cancelled then authentication is cancelled then you will be redirect, redirected to the to this URL so what we have to do right now is we have to copy this specific code this is the below script right so I have copied all that click by clicking on copy and now you have to paste over here so here you have to paste so I have pasted the whole script right so now along with that you are also getting this stripe.com v3 library which I have added already so I am going to delete this moreover here is the button which is along with that script you can see over here that here is also a button right here is the button so actually the button is also provided by them so now if you will see on the screen once you will click over here you will find that the checkout button is present so now what I have to do is I have to change the URLs according to my requirement right so here are here is different uh, domain name but I have I am also testing on my local server so I have to change this right so this would be my domain name this and one more thing is we have to remove this this one all right so success means success.php because I have made a separate file and cancel.php right so now if you will go on the dashboard on the screen then you will find out that once you are clicking here and once you will click over, over checkout then you will be redirected to the yes so this information has been automatically uh, automatically fetched from the dashboard of the stripe all right because of this specific script right so that has been uh, fetched uh, from there and you are looking on your screen because uh, this is uh, the cost of that toy and this is the name and you can even add the description as well so here you can add some specific information in the card so for the authentication I have this test card number so I am going to add here and now put the card details test details right and here is the name on the card and here is country and then you can select the pay so now if you will click on the complete authentication then definitely you will be redirected to the success page oh so th that means payment is successful so how we can uh, uh, confirm that our payment has been successful so you can go to the dashboard again and here you can click on the payments and you can okay we have to wait for a while okay so here we go you can see that 33 uh, euro so that means that the payment has been successful right now right so here is everything over here so this was our item quantity unit price and amount right so all the information is uh, over here so you can see that so all the things you can uh, check by your own so the thing that I want to explain here is that you can do the SCA strong customer authentication uh, from client only integration as well that means that you need not bother about the information of the product uh, that you have to fetch from the your own database but you have the option that you can add your product on the uh, dashboard 
of the stripe itself means over here so you can uh, add the product you can add their name status type price so everything would be added over here and according to your uh, customer authentication uh, and the customer authentication would be done automatically right so in this way you will uh, get the help of that uh, you are uh, you are getting uh, the the card this specific card page uh, by default right so you need not bother about the uh, uh, validation of this specific form as well right because this is going to be done automatically and user interface is already in built so this is really helpful right so in the next video i will also uh, do the things uh, with the webhook that is also an important part that for example you are doing the server integration which I have explained in the previous video and uh, meanwhile you are not getting the uh, payment status successful so definitely uh, uh, the payment status pending would be added into your database so how you can update by using webhook so webhook means the event has been fired from the stripe itself and you will be noticed uh, by uh, creating a separate file in which you will get the event and according to those events if that is the success event that means you are getting uh, you are uh, going to update your database for example let me show you here actually uh, here are developers and here is webhooks so I have already created a webhook so here you can see that these are the web uh, these are the events that has been fired from fired to the specific webhook so webhook means this specific url on this specific url that is on my server and once any event would be fired that would be uh, received on this uh, page and i will manipulate the data over here that means i will use that information and uh, update my database as well so what would be the information inside of it actually this is going to send a json so this is the json that would be received by my webhook file and over the uh, over there you can see that for example here charge succeeded that means the payment is successful so i will check over there and then after uh, able to realize that I ha I need to change my database so this is something like uh, webhook right so in the next video I will explain you uh, even in more detail but for now you have to understand the SCA SCA uh, for the client only integration so if you are thinking that this is little difficult or any problem or any issue then you can uh, ask me in the comment section I will definitely help you out Thank you so much for watching this video. All the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free. So in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things. Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.